Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the purpose of Cucumber options? Let me answer. Cucumber options is an annotation from either Cucumber JUnit library or Cucumber ExchangeE library. So using this Cucumber options annotation, we can achieve a lot of things like we can specify the path to the feature files, we can specify the path to the step definitions, we can mention the tags, that is uh, scenarios containing the tags which need to be run, okay? So we can also mention the plugins and many more. Let me practically demonstrate this Cucumber options for you so that you can understand in a better way. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have this uh, project containing this, uh, you know, uh, feature files and step definition files. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to segregate them. Okay. I'm not going to put this uh, feature files and step definition files under the same package. Rather, I'll create separate packages for them. Let's say I'll create one package. I'll just name this package as features package. I'll move the, all the feature files, whatever I have. For now, in this example, I have only one feature file. No matter how many feature files are there, I'll move all the feature files under the features package. And uh, I'll rename this uh, test package to another name. Uh, let's say refactor, rename. I'll simply name this as step depths or step definitions, whatever you want to give, you can give that. All the step definition classes or files need to be part of this uh, package, let's say. You can give any names, that's okay. Now, uh, under SRC test Java, I'll create one more package. I'll just name this package as a runner package. Under this package, I'll create one uh, user-defined class. I'll just name this uh, as my runner or test runner, whatever you feel convenient. You just write down, click on finish. The runner class has been created. And uh, on this, uh, on above this runner class, I'll just write at the rate run with, or the mouse on at the rate run with, and import this from JUnit library, okay? And here, put circular brackets and say cucumber dot, class okay and you see this cucumber class will be imported from cucumber jnit library okay for now in this project we are using cucumber jnit okay so cucumber jnit from cucumber jnit this uh, cucumber class got imported fine next one under this at the rate run with i'll create one more thing one more annotation that is cucumber option okay the question is all about the cucumber options right cucumber options this is a question what is the purpose of cucumber options? So this is one of the annotation ways, okay? At the rate, uh, something means it's an annotation uh, which belongs to the cucumber JNIT or cucumber test uh, Both the libraries have this uh, cucumber options annotation. I'm going to hover the mouse on this and import this uh, at the rate cucumber option annotation from this cucumber JNIT. For, for now in this project, I'm using JNIT. So cucumber JNIT, I'm going to do. So provide circular brackets. In this cucumber options, you can mention a lot of things, okay? In this Cucumber options, you can mention a lot of stuff like uh, you can mention the path to the feature files. Okay, so you're going to run this runner class. Okay, you're going to with, uh, you're going to right click on this and run as uh, with the help of JNIT, you're going to run this class. My runner class, you're going to run with the help of JNIT. Okay, that's fine. But this runner class need to know where the feature files are available in this project. Okay, they are not uh, in the same package, right? The feature files are under the features package. So we have to specify the path where the feature files are available. I'll simply say features is equal to double quotes, give the path of path where this uh, feature files are available. That is SRC under, under the directly under the project, under the SRC folder, under the test, under the SRC package, the sub package test. Under that, we have this Java. Under the Java, we have these features. Okay. Under the features package, we have the feature files. So this is the path of the features feature files. Now put a comma and press enter and you can write the next one. You can specify the path to the, not only the feature files, but also the step definition files. Okay. Where the step definition files are available. Okay. You have to give the path here. So how to give that path? So there is one attribute that is a glue. Okay. In the glue, you can specify that. Uh, and in that glue, just provide this uh, double quotes, let's say, and, uh, Mention the path uh, under which package we have that. Uh, let's say under step depths. Okay, let's see what will happen. Under step depths, we have this. Put a comma here. And uh, okay, the error is coming. 
So here, let's give this blue kind of stuff. Let's see whether the error will be going off. No. I think I have to mention, okay, I should be mentioning something like this curly braces kind of thing. Okay, forgot. Okay, put a comma here and press enter. Blue step definition, uh, step defs. And uh, after that, uh, you have to give, uh, we can also, you see, just package name is enough for uh, step definitions. You don't have to give SRC test Java. And next one is, uh, next one is, uh, let's say, which, you see, there's one feature file uh, having one scenario and on the top of the scenario, we have at the rate login. I want to run the scenarios uh, which are mentioned with at the, at the rate login uh, tags only. For that, there is another attribute like tags attribute. In double quotes, I can give at the rate login tag name. So this runner class is going to run only the scenarios in the feature files which, which have this tag name mentioned. And other one is plugin. Plugin, I think that is plugin, right? Uh, Plugin or plugins, I don't remember. That's okay. Plugin, give curly braces, then give double code. Okay. So in the double code, plugin, double code, and give the plugin that is a, let's say, HTML colon. HTML report I would like to generate. So HTML, Kukumbar HTML report I would like to generate. So I have to mention HTML colon. I have to give the path where you want to generate the report. So under the target under this project, under the target folder, I would like to generate target slash under the target folder, cucumber reports. Under the cucumber reports, I would like to re uh, generate a report with the name cucumber html report dot html with extension. This is the name of the report and this is the extension of the HTML report. Okay, everything we have to give. I think this is the thing. Uh, let's cross check whether this uh, Cucumber options attributes are properly done or not. Okay. So let me uh, go to, you know, chat GPT or something. And Cucumber uh, options attributes. See what will come. Uh, Features, we have written the features in a proper way. Glue, yeah, we have mentioned glue here. Then we have tags, yes, we have mentioned tags. Then plugin, yeah, plugin is correct. Done. Yeah, then a lot of other plugins are there, but uh, you know, I'm not covering everything. A lot of things are there, okay? Apart from uh, like uh, we have monochrome, straight, dry run, many things are there, okay? so. Let's not go deep, okay, into that. Uh, this will be enough uh, for you guys to answer. These are the major ones. So what is the purpose of Cucumber Options? Means you can mention this stuff. That will be more than enough, okay? But there are many other stuff that's okay. Uh, give an example, I'll say. Give an example, okay? How to use the Cucumber Options. You see features. Blue, I can directly mention if there is only one thing, you don't have to mention the curly braces. That's okay. That's what is the thing. If you have multiple uh, glue things, you can mention the curly braces. Plugin curly. If you have multiple things, provide curly braces. Okay. For any for any attribute value, if you have multiple values, if you have to provide, then if you, you see here only step depth is only one, but you have one more thing like comma, comma something. Then you can provide uh, surround this uh, attribute values with curly braces. Otherwise, it's not required. Up to you. Okay. Whether you want to put the curly braces or not, up to you. If you have multiple values, put curly braces. If you have only single value, here curly braces is not required. Okay. You can remove that. There are multiple values because we have multiple plugins. Okay. That we can mention not only this plugin, we have other plugins. So in that case, curly brace and put a series of plugins. Okay. So otherwise, this much is good. Now let's see whether this uh, thing is working or not. Right click on this and run as a uh, JNU test. Say okay. Without any errors, if the things are working, then we are good. It has run. You see all the print statements in the step definition methods got printed. You see, if you go here, all these print statements got printed without any problem. Okay. So this is a, uh, okay. All the steps got uh, run. Okay. So it's working fine. So now you understood, right? What is the purpose of Cucumber options? In Cucumber options, we can mention the path of the feature file, wherever the feature files are there in this project. Okay. Not always under the same package, we have the feature files, runner class, and uh, step definition files, right? Uh, in real time frameworks and projects, 
we have to put the feature files under a different location. We have to write the runner class under a different location. We have to write the step definition files under a different location. But in the runner class, we have to mention the path to mention the path of the feature files and step definition files uh, and uh, which tags we have to run, which scenarios contain which tags we have to run. And uh, it has generated a report. We can see the report here. Uh, uh, refresh this project once. Uh, let's see. Under that, we got the you see Cucumber reports folder got automatically created under the Cucumber reports. Uh, we got this Cucumber HTML report created. Okay. Right click on this and say open with web browser. It will open in the browser. Okay. The report will get opened in the browser. Okay. This is the report and everything got passed. This scenario got passed. So, hope guys you understood what is the purpose of the Cucumber options. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.